Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and today I have some products from BBCraft.com to share with you like I do each and every month. I've got about eight things I think to show you and we're going to kick it off with these gorgeous, from what I can tell in the bag, natural fire agate bead strands. That bag down there is loaded and I can't wait to see what's inside the package. Before we get into it, I have a coupon code. It's OPAL5. That will save you $5 off your purchase of $40 or more at bbcraft.com. And you can find that as well as the link to their site and all the products I'll be sharing with you today right down below the video. BBCraft also has free shipping on all orders over $25. It doesn't matter where in the world you're located. Just allow two to four weeks for delivery just to be on the safe side, depending on what you order and where you are. It's really been great to see all the new items and products they've been adding to their site. And these are one of them that I picked up this month. So this is a bag that's supposed to be full of three strands of 18 pieces per strand of these fire agate beads. It says they're dyed, they're flat rounds, and they're approximately 20 millimeters by six millimeters with a one millimeter hole. I'm sure all the colors are gonna vary just because it looks like that's the nature of this sort of mix. And also because they're stone, they're all gonna look a little bit different, but it looks like there's quite a mix of different colors going on in here. Wow, these are gorgeous. Look at how different they all are. I mean, some of them have like bright orange. We have some yellow, some green, pink. We have aqua, blue, different shades, purple, neutral tones, all different sorts of things going on in here. And I think they are really nice, not only to use just as beads and jewelry, but I think the shape is great for using as a cabochon because they are flat. As you can see, there's something that you could easily beat around. Look at that one, just for example, all those lovely striations of color. And yeah, they are dyed and enhanced color-wise, but a lot of gemstone beads are. And I think that just really is cool how all the beads are different. It's not like all of these are blue or all are yellow, but they've included a rainbow of different colors just in this one strand alone. The price, by the way, on the three strands is $18 approximately today in U.S. dollars. And so you get three strands of 18 pieces each. So I think we're talking about 54 total beads that you get. And they are a good size. They're not too big and chunky, and they are pretty flat. They're not really wide, as you can see. That one's so cool. It reminds me of like an abalone shell or something. Wow, really neat. So definitely enough here. Of course, you could maybe split this up with a beading buddy if you have one and share or perhaps join the trading group and trade some of them if you have bulk quantities and you just don't have a need for that many. But I'm definitely impressed with the quality. There's none that are like jagged or cracked. They're very glossy. And like I said, it's a very good mix of different colors, which is what is reflected on the website. So I think we're off to a good start. I have some other beads for us to look at before we get into some of the other funky and unusual items that I picked up this month. So this is a bag of 10 strands of mixed color electroplated imitation jade glass beads. They are like a rondelle shape, and they have that mix of electroplating and then a solid opaque color. So they are advertised as being multicolor. These do vary from the picture that you see online, but I mean, that's what you expect when you order something that's listed as multicolor and they're up front saying that the colors could vary. And just at first glance here, it looks like all of them are different. We'll see if I have any duplicates, but there are some pretty teals and greens and that pop of red and yellow. And the size of these is two and a half by two millimeters. I've been enjoying working with these smaller glass rondelles lately. The price today is $7.99 for the 10 strands. And we will take a closer look at each of them. So here's a closer look at all the different colors that are just a little bit better separated. And I just got one duplicate, which is this one. I don't mind that at all. It's this very pretty white and gray with the electroplating on the gray. And all the other ones are different. These are both kind of that greenish turquoise opaque. 
but this one has the champagne color over top and this one has more of that iris. So I think it's a good mix and a great price getting each of these strands for less than a dollar. Each essentially says there's 200 pieces per strand and they are 17 and a half inches long. So as you can see, you get plenty to work with here. Good price for the amount that you get. All right, next up is something very different. And this is a large bag full of these keychains. Now, these are something you could, of course, slip a photo into, but I got these to do something a little bit different. I'm going to test and see if I can do some peyote stitch beadwork or maybe some brick stitch designs and slip those inside since they're flat and you can personalize these, say, with a name or just anything you like. And I think that'd be a fun way to showcase your beadwork. I've been really trying to explore other ways of beading and showing off your beadwork and just enjoying beading besides jewelry making all the time. So it's something I might explore down the road. But this is a bag of 30 pieces. They are acrylic photo snap-in keychains is what they're called, about 1.2 by 1.8 inch rectangles. And they're $10.39 for all 30 pieces. So I'll definitely have plenty to share or to gift. Let's open these up and take a closer look. All right, so here's a look at the keychain. As you can see, it is clear. And I like the fact that it doesn't look cloudy or anything. It's got a pretty, you know, decent size width to it, but not too thick. And I'm just curious as to how this opens. It looks like there's a little, maybe a snap closure or something. Okay, so you just need to wedge that open with something there. And that looks like it pops right out. So it's two separate pieces. Then you could put some beadwork in here. It doesn't even have to be rectangular to fit that. I mean, it could be something with a shape to it if you wanted to do something in brick stitch and it'd be three dimensional. And then you could just pop the cover over the top and it snaps into place really securely. So I just think that would be kind of a cool, you know, other type of thing to bead besides jewelry and maybe expand your horizons a little bit. Recently, I shared a beaded measuring tape and prior to getting that in the Potomac Beads Kit, I started making a list of all different things and really exploring BB Craft for some other items like this. So I will be sure to share and we will see if that works out. And then speaking of which, this is the next item that I picked up. So these are actually empty ballpoint pens, empty in the sense of like this top portion. So I have seen beaded pens before, like peyote stitch pens, where you do a ring around the pen. But I saw these on BB Craft and I thought, well, maybe it'd be cool to do some beading that would go in the inside of this clear portion and it would be even more protected. So that's something else I'm gonna try out too. So they have all different colors of these pens. I picked up the purple. They come in packs of two and it says that they are $6.69 for the two pack. And it looks like, I think you can just unscrew this. Okay, cool. So the top part unscrews like you can see there and then it's got a stopper. So that's like some people may wanna put some like seed beads in there or glitter or something else that needs that stopper to hold that in place. And it's got that edge on it so that it'll stay put. But I was thinking you could make like a narrow tube of peyote stitch or something and maybe slip that inside of the tube. So another idea of something that I'll be playing around with as time goes on and hopefully have something to share. Let me just see. So the actual ink part, you just twist the tip and bringing over some paper, of course, because we have to test out the pen. There we go. So it works great. The ink is black, just a standard ballpoint pen. And of course, the most exciting part is that clear tube that you could fill in any way you like. Next up is this package. I started opening it. It's containing 30 pieces of 
open bezels or pendant blanks for particularly UV resin. So I actually picked up a bottle for the first time ever of some UV resin. I might play around with these and do something a little bit different with that. But this container costs $8.15 and it comes with five different colors of metal pendant blanks. So they are a teardrop shape. All of them are the same shape and size and they have that kind of nice thickness to them where you could pour some resin in and maybe encase a dried flower or stickers or fabric or whatever you may be into. That gives you enough of a lip there on the sides to play around with. So that's one of the colors. This is like the more like stainless steel sort of silver. Then they have this brushed light silver color. We also have this brassy shiny gold. And then this one, this is like a brushed matte light gold. That's kind of interesting. And then it looks like there's also some antique brass or bronze tones. So these are the five different colors and they're approximately 34 by 20.5 millimeters in size. And that loop there at the top where you could attach those onto your jewelry or your chain or whatever it is you're attaching this to. And then real quick before moving on to the next thing, I just separated these to see if they sent an even amount of each color and it looks like they did. So there's six pieces of each of those color tones of metal. All right, now here's the next item I picked up. This also comes in a reusable case like the last item. This is $13.29 today and I'm not as interested in the ear wires and the jump rings as I am what is on the back that you start to see and that is some metal cutting dies. I got a little die cut machine and I plan to use that on some of the leather that I've shared previously, some of that faux leather rather, that they have on BB Craft. They've got some fun patterns and colors that they've been getting in lately. And I thought that these would be great for doing some precision cutting of that leather and then also possibly going along with something else I'll show you in just a moment. But this kit comes with 20 pieces of earring cutting dies, it says, and then you get 100 pieces of ear hooks and 200 jump rings along with that. And of course, you can see in the silver and the gold plated tones. All right, so there's a bag of gold jump rings, a bag of silver jump rings, and then same with our fish hook style ear wires. You get a bag of each color, and then you get all these different dies, lots of different shapes. So I think these will be perfect for cutting some of that faux leather very precisely instead of having to do it by hand. I mean, these shapes are right up my alley as far as things I would use to make earrings. And they specifically advertise these for cutting leather. And not only that, if you are into paper crafting, you could of course use these in paper crafting, I'm sure as well. So I'm just taking these out so you can see all the different shapes. It's really a good amount of different shapes and good sizes for earrings too. Some are larger than others and even pendants as well. I could see doing something with these. This one's really, really interesting. So there's a monstera leaf. There's a big teardrop. Some of these larger ones at the bottom. Here's a teardrop with an opening. And you can layer these. That's the other thing. When you cut the leather pieces, you can layer the shapes on top of each other. So do a larger size in the back or on the bottom and then layer some of the other shapes on the top. So $13.29, again, great deal. I'm more into this for the die cuts, 20 pieces. I don't think you can beat that very easily for all that you get. And I think there are so many usable sizes in that kit. All right, the next item is along similar lines. This is a very hefty, it's not really heavy, it's just full bag of these wooden pieces. You could use them for earrings or making pendants, all sorts of things. Different shapes, kind of like we saw with the die cuts. In fact, some of them might be the same. I'll have to check that out. But for $11.87, you get 120 pieces of unfinished wood big pendants, it says, and also you get 120 pieces of earring hooks and jump rings as well. So kind of like the last kit where they included those along with it. 
But the reason I wanted to get these was to, number one, try to see if I could back the leather jewelry with the wood and make that even more sturdy. And number two, I had seen some things done with some of these blanks where you could actually place fabric on the top and then dome them with resin over the top of that and get kind of a interesting look with that fabric showing through the clear resin, giving them more of a 3D look and also being sturdy because of the wood on the back. So again, don't know if it'll work out, but lots of fun, different things for me to play with, branching out from my other things that I've tried so far. Here's a bunch of these wooden rings and the hole is already drilled in these pieces too, which is really handy. So these I would definitely use as some sort of a pendant. Here's some really large diamond shapes. And then some of these remind me of some of the things that we saw in the other kit with the die cuts, some of these other shapes. Here's this sort of a, well, it's like a kite shape this way, but would go this way. We have a large oval, triangle, we got this rhombus shape. I mean, just all different sorts of things. This one's kind of cool. It's got like a little wave to it. And then of course these funky monstera leaves definitely make a statement with those. I really like these, this diamond with the opening in the middle. And we just have all sorts of different shapes and it looks like quite a few of each of them. I mean, there's a lot here to go through. So here's some smaller ones. I like these. So we'll see. I'll have to play around with these again and just see what works. And I'm sure eventually I'll be sharing. But this gives you a example of all the different shapes and sizes here that you get to work with in this kit. And by the way, there's the uh, fish hook earrings. Again, same kind of pack. You get the gold and the silver included with those. And then there were just a couple other little shapes that I didn't really get to share as closely that got buried under some of those larger pieces. So here are those two. And you could even connect some of these together if you wanted to make a really bold geometric statement somehow. But anyway, lots and lots in that package to look through. All right, we've made it to the last product that I have to share. And this is a box containing 60 alloy swivel lobster claw clasps with the snap hook. They are 35 by 13 millimeters and there's three different colors inside of this container. You can see already the gold, silver, and the antique bronze color. And originally I wanted to get these in a really colorful variety of all different like rainbow colors, but they were out. So I settled for these for now, and these go along with the other things that I was thinking up about beading with other things in mind. So I was thinking in terms of like doing the beaded chapstick containers, like I've seen those before, and I think it'd be great to maybe put one of those on a keychain like this. That way you could add that to your key ring or have it in a place that's easy for you to access by just hanging that up on a hook and adding that as an accessory maybe to a beaded lip balm peyote stitch style tube. So we'll see. Let me open this up. So it's 60 pieces. I'd be 20 of each of the three colors for $10 and 70 cents. And if you like these, you'll have to definitely check out those rainbow colors. I think those would be a lot of fun for gift type items and especially for like lip balms and you could match those to your beading. So here are the antique bronze and then we have the gold there all the way at the bottom. And I'll take one of these out and we'll test it. So there's a look at one up close and you can see that this part at the bottom, it does swivel very easily and it's on there sturdy. And you just take your thumb and pull that back and it goes back very easily and then shuts close. So that is exactly what I was expecting it to be. And $10.70 for 60 pieces. So once again, these are great items, especially if you have other beading buddies or you make a lot of the same thing. They give you great prices for bulk items. Of course, you don't have to always get items in that large a quantity but they do have a lot of that on BB Craft, So it's great for sharing, great for gifting, great for swapping if you're only interested in getting a few pieces for yourself. 
But that is everything I have to share for this month from bbcraft.com. I hope that was enjoyable and helpful for you to see some of these products up close. It was definitely a lot of fun to pick out some of these unique items, and I look forward to playing around with some new ideas and hopefully sharing some things in the near future. So don't forget to use that coupon code OPAL5 if you'd like to save $5 off your purchase of $40 or more and free shipping internationally on all orders over $25. Just allow that extra time for the items to get to you just in case. Definitely check out their new arrival section. They are updating that all the time, and it's amazing all the different things they're getting in. So very pleased with what I have gotten today and have shared tons and tons of their products over the past few years. So I have a whole playlist. If you're interested in seeing more of these videos, definitely check that out. And if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up. I would appreciate that very, very much. And I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So go ahead and hit that button while you're here too. And that way you'll be notified when I'm posting new content. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. and Let me know if you like any of these items that I showed. If you have any ideas that jumped out at you, maybe that I didn't mention, that would be great. I always love to hear from you all. But that is all I have for today. I will be back again in no time to share more beading fun. So I hope you'll stick around with me. And in the meantime, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And as always, happy beating.